So many people have questions about the zone system in the Fly Lady cleaning process. And I thought today would be a good day to show you what is meant by zone cleaning. So if you want a few more details about that, keep watching. Welcome to This and That with Denise Jordan. I teach women to make wise home health and beauty decisions. So if you want to learn more about running a household, subscribe. Or if you want to see product reviews about products and things that can benefit you in your home, subscribe. Because I do videos about those topics all the time. So hit that subscribe button and double tap that little bell icon so you don't miss any upcoming videos. But definitely, Check out the show notes in the description box below because that's where I'll link my favorite housekeeping and gardening solutions. Okay, let's jump into it. Those of you that follow me know that I use the Fly Lady cleaning system to clean my home. And it has really been a godsend. I am so glad that I discovered this particular method of cleaning. And the Fly Lady mentor that I follow is Fly Lady Cat. So when we are in zones, what she suggests that we do is pick four things, four things in that zone that we want to work on that week and just do that. And none of the items that we choose to do, or I should say none of the tasks that we choose to do, should take more than 10 minutes, certainly 15 minutes at the most. So this week I am working in zone two and I picked for one of my tasks to do this week is to clean out and organize this utensil drawer. I tell you what, it's just always in a jumbo and it's like sometimes I put things in and out, but since I'm not the only one putting things in and out, they just kind of get all jumbled up. And then I have another utensil drawer over there that I put larger utensils in, certain spoons and different things like that. And you know what? I figured I probably just have too many items to go in those two drawers, too many things, because I've also got a few things in pictures back there. So what I'm going to do for my zone two cleaning is clean, clean out and organize these two spaces and decide which one of these utensils do I need to keep and which ones can I share. So let's get it started. So I've cleaned out the drawers. I washed them out. I used the Mrs. Meyers vinegar gel because I decided I didn't want any strong smelling fragrances in there. And then I'm going to let them dry. So this is the flatware drawer that goes into this drawer. And I thought I'd better let it dry for just a little bit. So while it's drying, I'll decide what's going to go back in there. But one of the things that I can tell right away as I look at all of this, there are only two of us here. Why do we need these mini forks in the drawers? Or why do we need this many knives? So I think what I'm going to do is just go down to a set of eight, just eight of uh, each of the utensils that we can use because I run the dishwasher or wash dishes every day so I certainly don't need two dozen of each utensil in the drawer and then I'll figure out which of these things that I use on a daily basis is going to go back into this drawer.
These are chopsticks which we don't use. So I'm putting a few things, I'm putting a few things in the sink that I think I'm gonna need to pitch. So I've got all of this flatware here. And as you can see, we can't possibly use it all on a day-to-day -day basis. So I'm going to just choose eight to go in the drawer. And then the rest will go in my flatware chest. more teaspoons we use teaspoons for quite a few things so maybe I'll put 12 of those in and these really big serving spoons I'm going to go ahead and put them in at the back of the drawer so I've got tablespoons and serving spoons in there over here I tend to keep my larger steak knives now we definitely don't need all of these steak knives in the drawer. We really don't even eat steak or that often that we need to use this many knives. So I think what I'll do is put these in. I'll keep a couple of these out because they're really good if you've got something like the carcass of a chicken that you need to cut through. So I'll put these in. But the rest of these I'm going to put away. This is one of my favorite paring knives, as are these. I really like them. They work really well. They're pretty inexpensive, but they work well. And I did just buy this one, so I'm going to keep all of these. I'll keep those in the drawer. I'm going to put these back on the chain. And two really big serving forks. I guess I need those, so I'll put two of those in the back of the drawer. And then my measuring spoons, which I use most often, are here. These I do use occasionally, but they're pretty much mostly decorative. I mean, they are functional, but typically when I'm reaching for a set of measuring spoons, I'm reaching for these. So this is what I've got figured out. I am going to use this particular set here. We use quite a bit. My husband likes the way these forks feel in the hand and he likes to eat with them and I only have four of the dinner forks and two of the salad forks six of the knives but I've got like eight of the teaspoons so these will go back in the drawer because we use them all the time and they're a favorite And then this set right here will also go into the drawer. This is one of the sets that I got thrifting, but I really like it. I like the look of it. I like the feel of it. I love these forks, but they're not my husband's favorite fork. So I'll just put a set of four of each of these in the drawer. So four knives, four forks, four tablespoons, and then four teaspoons. And these will go in the drawer. So if I have to do a table setting and I'm just doing four, I've got everything I need with this as well. And then these are iced teaspoons, but I use them quite a bit in the mornings when I'm stirring my smoothie, so these will go into the drawer as well. And then there's a couple can openers here. One's like a bottle opener and then one's a punch opener. And from time to time, we do need those, so I will have them in this drawer as well. And then, of course, this lemon squeeze. I use it just about every day when I'm making a smoothie, so I'll put it in the drawer. But then all the, oh, and then one soup ladle, I'll put it in the drawer. But all of the other things will have to go elsewhere. So I have this chest right here that I usually put my excess flatware in. And I'll put the rest of those things in this. Or, yeah, so I'll put the rest of the things in this one. And this one is the one that has the excess of those silver flatware. 
I got this whole set thrifting and I got this whole box of silver flatware for $9.99. I mean, I really got a great deal. So I, and it came in the box. So I'll just keep that there. And I'll put this excess in here. These items here belong in the other drawer. So I'm going to put them over here for now. Because they'll be going into the other drawer. These are butter knives and spreaders that don't need to be in my daily drawer. And this goes in another drawer. So I'll put these over here for now. So these things are packed and I can get them put away. Now I'll go ahead and get these forks down in this drawer. You know what? This doesn't have to be in here. Nor do these. These are the things that I use most every day. And that's all that's going in here. And then here are these spoons. So here is this drawer all sorted out. I've got my steak knives over here. I've got my uh, tablespoons and large serving spoons over here. Forks here and again in the back there's two large um, serving forks. And then uh, teaspoons and the nice teaspoons are there. Knives here and I've got a, enough for eight or ten in there. And then right here I've got my lemon squeeze, my um, paring knives my spatula or my scraper that I use for my blender and then of course my three sets of measuring spoons and then in the back I'll probably just put some things that I don't use all the time and I better put this pen over here because we use it just about every day as well but I'm going to put this ladle back there as well as this jar opener because I want to be able to access it when I need it this core can go back here also. It's not something that I use often. And maybe I'll get a little tray that fits in the back. So here we have it. These are all the things that are going to go into this drawer. Anything else that might go in here might be something that I put towards the back. But for right now, it's all nice and neatly organized. And that's where I'm at. So I'm going to wrap this up for now. I'm going to put these chests away. My flatware and utensil drawer right here is organized. I'll have to get to that one tomorrow. You're only supposed to work for about 10 minutes in a zone and I've probably taken about 20 minutes to get this drawer sorted out. So the things that came out of the drawer that didn't go back in will probably end up in that drawer or there's some things in that drawer that's going to have to come out. So I don't want to deal with those right now. I'm just going to go ahead and just stuff them in the drawer for now and then tomorrow when I come back to my zone work, I'll address that drawer. So now here's my question for you. What part of this whole process do you have a question about? Is it the fly lady cleaning process in general? Is it the zones? Is it the daily swish and swipe? Leave me a, a question in the comment section below. And just so you know, I've raised three children. I've managed a home for more than 45 years, and I'm a nurse by profession. So if you want to learn more about running a household, cooking and cleaning and laundry and health and beauty, subscribe. I would love to have you as a member of the TNT community. In the meantime, this is Denise Jordan saying goodbye. I'll see you tomorrow for another day of Zone 2 Cleaning.